Right, day 110, the journey into the desert officially begins. Just leaving Bainu now, the last town for 300 miles. We're now going to the desert. <laughs> I think there might be a couple of villages along the way, very small villages where we'll be able to get food and water supplies along the way, but except for that, the next 300 miles is desert. Really dodgy roads, off-road, extreme heat, extreme wind, desert. Let's be having you. Right, the off-road tracks begin. 300 miles in Kazakhstan, perfect, beautiful roads. But we knew this was coming, and here we are. The beginning of crossing the desert. Let's maybe know actually. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's a beautiful surface. Going to cheekily jump onto that rather than take that dirt road. I'm not sure if I'm allowed, but hey ho, you know me. What? Hey! What a treat this is! When you're supposed to be in that dirt road over there to the left. Wonder how long I'll get away with this before we need to go on the real road. Into the desert we go! Hey ho, here we go. There's a new road getting built there. Literally, as I'm on it, the worky boys have been really sound to me and tell me that I can just cycle on it anyway rather than taking the dirt track. <laughs> There's somebody looking out for me, I tell you that. When I got my visa in Georgia, Tbilisi, about a week after I got it, they stopped giving out Chinese visas in Georgia. I was one of the last people to get one. Now, as I'm going into the desert, there happens to be a new road being built, flat, smooth, and I'm allowed on it. Somebody looking out for me. Somebody's looking out for me. Wow. I was born to go on this journey. The new road clearly has not finished yet, so this is the road that on. For now, I'm not sure how long it's going to be like this. Right, it looks like it's about to get a wee bit better here. The adventure through the desert has well and truly begun. Cycle along that hard road there and I just noticed a jeep beside me to the right. In the distance, what looked like a smooth flat road, so I'm just running around and checking it out. <laughs> well hey, that'll do nicely, thank you very much. Another obstacle on the road, you know how we overcome them. Way Smooth roads again. Sometimes the roads are bumpy, sometimes they're smooth. Just like life. Another day, another camel. Sandstorm. Oh, I'm absolutely flying today. Four days in a row back in the bike. Just striving and striving and striving to get back to my best. Those eight days between to Istanbul and Tbilisi were by far my personal best in a bike. I'm smashing it and I just want to get back to that level. And the way you get back to your best is just by waking up every day, getting on the bike and putting in the miles. And that's it. This tailwind is absolutely fantastic. Smooth flat roads. I'm sitting at about 29.9 mile an hour now. <laughs> Woohoo! And I'm just getting started! We're only warming up. Think how fit I'll be when I get back to Edinburgh. Woo! Ah! Oh, can I fucking wait for the day I get my chance? That yellow jersey. That yellow jersey. Absolutely flew there. Brilliant tailwind, now just approaching the border for Uzbekistan. Big queues at the border. So I've made it to the border for Uzbekistan, 50 miles today. And just plan as you go along. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Mr. Yeah. Hi. Hi. What are you saying? Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, that's okay. My, my father. Kazakhstan there. Nice guy. Chatted with him for a wee while there. 
Aye, so I was meant to be going through the border the night, but I didn't think I'd have anywhere to stay for the next three or four nights going through the desert. But, but actually, the people inside this cafe have said I can stay in there the night, so I'm going to stay in the cafe. They've got a room in there, which means I'll be inside one last night camping, which is good. So I'm just going to stay here the night, 50 miles a day, and then tomorrow I'll get up early, cross through the border, and I'll be in Uzbekistan, and we'll be going through the desert.